So, you know, it's interesting, you know, this used to all be a big field, you know, there was some sort of trails that actually went a little closer to here, and then I think this trail over here was like a dirt trail, These houses weren't there, There's train tracks, the old switching station, you know, a few people lived down there, you know, um, Zoe's right across the creek, you know, congressman. And of course, you know, the three people come out and clean this area up. Um, but, you know, the funny thing is, is, you know, we make thousands of dollars, you know, for people to live. So, you know, make some thousands of dollars um, to take care of the creek and get the people out of the creek. And, uh, Actually, yeah, I was down there. There's a little wooden house right over there. But, you know, instead of just throwing $400 million here and there, whatever amount you put to it, spend it on some uh, some land. You know, down there, of course, is the dog park. Lots of land. Or past that, behind 280, you know. But the bigger, probably the better spot, more local to services, would be the airport land. You know, that nothing that, this area that no one using. Where the homeless are at now, Mr. Reed. Um, but, you know, to just kick them out of there, you know, they left the creek, give them some services. You know, Santa Clara Valley Water District could do the same. Then these guys wouldn't be shitting in the creek. You know, give them some porta potties. You know, give them some supplies. I bet you they'd uh, clean up the supply, or you know, a lot of them would clean up after themselves because they're people, unfortunately, um, unemployed by ridiculous government policies uh, at the state, in the city. Um, you know, that's just uh, goofing everything up. And, you know, unfortunately, the big fat white cats sit there and make money just like in Congress. And we pay you, and nothing gets done or it gets wasted, you know. Thousands of dollars for millions. Bogus, how much is it going to cost? 350000 uh oh, fungus and... Uh, common jotty say $350,000 they need to get more than a consultant you know they might want to get some knowledge because uh, just the district's time and the district's electricity or furnishing the conduit and the painting and the woodwork and everything else somebody isn't going to supply is going to be $500,000 too especially paying inept people 130 140 bucks an hour um, and the bottom line is 85 percent of that equipment is digital is usable and uh, just like everything you surplus usable but now you know you don't use all this stuff you know it's insane because you know prior practices you let everybody buy what they want and tra la la and DDD but it's all coming to an end pretty soon. It should be good. But, uh, you know, the sad thing is, you know, we have pretty flowers and all that. But then we have wasteful government officials. You know, that waste, waste, and more waste. I mean, this creek doesn't even get taken care of, you know? They cut out 12 by 16 cutouts. Actually, one's right here. You know, this one even has adobe walls. Um, and, you know, they just let it... Daisy, come here! Come here! And they just let it uh, rot away. You know, the last flood took this one out. And, unfortunately, it's pretty dark down there, but... You know, there's the cutout, and I, I showed you these pictures before. Um, yeah, you know, it's just seriously eroding. That's why the trees are falling. You know, the biologists and engineers can't figure it out. But hey, I got a BA in, in uh, 
theater and film and uh, production, I can figure it out. I understand what's going on here. What's going on here is money's being wasted. And uh, you're not fixing the problem, you know? Um, I could get you some pictures of shampoo stations right in the creek. It's a shame. It's a shame that we have to waste taxpayers' dollars, you know, on whatever we're wasting it on. <laughs>